Before Jersey Max became a billion dollar business, it was just a small sub shop in New Jersey called Max. The story of how a 17 year old boy with no job took this tiny shop and built an empire with over 1400 locations is nothing short of amazing. Peter Cancaro was born on May 15, 1954, in Point Present, New Jersey. His early years were typical of an American teenager in the 60s. While his family wasn't wealthy, they lived comfortably, but Peter's father believed in the importance of strong work ethics. At just 14, Peter's father insisted he get a job. Luckily, Peter's brother worked at a local entry called Mike Submarines. Peter landed an interview immediately, and when his father dropped him off, he famously said, don't come home until you have a job. An hour later, Peter was hired. Mike Submarines, established in 1956, was believed in Point Present for its Italian style subs. This freshly baked bread, deli meats, cheeses, and red wine sauce. By the time Peter started in 1968, the shop had seen three different owners and each finding success. Peter excelled in high school. He was president of his graduate class, a football star with a scholarship lined up, and one of the best employees at Mike's. But everything changed his senior year when the Marrow brothers, the owners of Mike's, decided to sell. Peter's mother suggested that he buy the top shop and thought it seemed crazy at first. Peter couldn't shake the idea. He asked the owners, told off on finding a buyer while he tried to trade 125 southern needed, equivalent to a million dollar today. Peter knocked on neighbors' doors and asked for donations and even turned on a 50-50 partnership because he wanted on Mike's Outright. His football coach, who was also a banker, believed in him and offered him a loan. With the money secured, Peter bought Mike's at just 17. He turned down his football scholarship to stay in Point Present and give his all to the business. He renamed it Jersey Mike's and within a few years opened a second location. Point prison status as a tourist hotspot helped Jersey Mike thrive. Tourists and locals alike couldn't get enough of their delicious subs. Encouraged by local customers, Peter decided to franchise Jersey Mike's in 1997. But a rapid expansion came with the risk. In 1991, a recession hit and Peter struggled to keep Jersey Mike's afloat. He let go of exceduted sold his belongings and personally visited every location to help owners stay on track. Peter even took on the marketing himself, sending out flyers and paying for radio ads to attract customers. After three years of intense struggle, Jazzy Mike's was back on its feet. By 1994, Jazzy Mike's grew from 35 to 100 stores. In 1995, Peter hired Sala Palisi, whose marketing skills helped the business explode. In 1999, a $10 million loan further fueled expansion. Peter mindset hasn't changed. He believes in showing up every day, working hard and staying dedicated. By 2020, Jesse Max had 1600 locations and its first year with over 1 billion in sales. Despite its success, Jesse Max hasn't forgotten its loot. Every last Wednesday, of the month, they donate 100% of sales to local charities, raising 5 to 7 million each time. Peter's goal is to reach 3 billion in annual sales and have over 3,000 stores. Peter Concaro's journey from a 17 year old with a dream to a successful entrepreneur is an American dream personified. His dedication and hard work have built a beloved brand that continues to give birth. How for another fascinating business story. Click on the next video to hear the crazy story of the youngest billionaire in Africa and the richest billionaire in East Africa, Mohamed Doji.